A mí me encanta el tópico de la intimidad con Dios. Como el pastor Rosa me dijo que él enseñó algo. I said, Holy Spirit, what do you want me to tell these people? Yo dije, Espíritu Santo, ¿qué quieres que yo le diga a estas personas? What do you, what do you want to tell these young people? ¿Qué quieres que yo comparte con estos jóvenes? He told me. Él me dijo. Share the Bible verse. Compárteles un versículo de la Biblia. I said, which one? <laughs> yo le dije, ¿cuál? He told me Philippians 4. Él me dijo Filipenses 4. 3, 8. 3, 8. You know what he told me? ¿Sabes lo que me dijo? That verse says this. Ese versículo dice esto. This is Paul speaking. Esto es Pablo hablando. He said there is nothing. Él dice que no hay nada. Absolutely nothing. Absolutamente nada. That can compare. Que puede comparar. To the infinite value. Al valor infinito. Of knowing Christ. De conocer a Cristo Jesús. Can you get an amen? Vamos, amen. 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 There is nothing. What does no nothing mean? Nada. Nothing in Greek means nothing. Nada significa que nada. Guys, can I speak to you guys today just for five minutes? Les puedo hablarles a ustedes por solamente cinco minutos. There is absolutely nothing. Hay absolutamente nada. That can compare. Que puede comparar. To knowing God. A conocer a Dios. Can I get real tonight? Que no les puedo hablar. Is that okay? Is that okay? Is that okay? Sex can't satisfy you. El sexo no te puede satisfacer. That blow job can't satisfy you. Esa muchacha no te puede satisfacer. Hallelujah. That school can't satisfy you. Esa muchacha no te puede satisfacer. Let me speak to my leaders. A title can't satisfy you. Let me be real. Let me be real. Let even anointing can't satisfy. Now popularity at church can't satisfy. Sitting at the front row can't satisfy. Only get real. Guys, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. If you want to get one thing from tonight, there is absolutely nothing. Hay absolutamente nada. Nothing in this world. Nada en este mundo. No girl. Ningún muchacha. No amount of money. Ninguna venta no de dinero. No title. Ningún título. That you satisfy. Que te puedes satisfacer like como Jesús. Nothing. Nada. There is nothing like Jesus. No hay nada como Jesús. Man, people overcomplicate it. A la gente piensa mucho en esto. You know what the word intimacy means? ¿Sabes lo que la palabra intimidad significa? Estar cerca. Oneness. Es ser uno. Es to know God. Es conocer a Dios. I like how Pablo said. Como el Pablo said. Knowing about God. Sabiendo de Dios. And knowing God. Y conocer a Dios. It's not the same. No es lo mismo. You see, knowing about God, that's religion. Ves conociendo de Dios, eso es religión. But knowing God. Pero conocer a Dios. That's relationship. Eso es una relación. That's intimacy. Esto es intimidad. And I want to, man, this verse. Y le quiero decir, mira, you need to say that real quick. Say with me. Draw near to God. Diga conmigo, cerca a Dios. And He will. Y Él. Say the word He will. Y Él. That's a promise. Eso es una promesa. How much of you guys know that God don't cap? Tú sabes que es un Dios de pactos. God don't lie. Dios no mienta. The Bible says. La Biblia dice. Draw near to God. Acerca a Dios. And He will. Y Él va. Draw near to you. Hey, can I just put this into perspective? The creator of the universe. The one that created me and you. The one that created the ocean. The galaxy. He says. That if we. Us imperfect human beings. If we draw near to God. He will draw near to us. That's the greatest invitation. To our intimacy with our Father. That's why God sent Jesus on a cross. The Bible says that we're separated because of our sin. But on that cross, Jesus overcame sin. On that cross, Jesus was separated from the Father Jesús fue apartado del Padre so we can have a relationship with him. Para que tenemos relación con él. Do you know why Jesus said on the cross, Father, why have you abandoned me? Tú sabes por qué Jesús dijo, Padre, ¿por qué me le apartaste? The Bible says he became sin. Es porque Dios, la Biblia dice que Jesús se convirtió en el pecado. So on that cross, así que en ese cruz, God rejected Jesus. Dios rechazó a Jesús. So we can be accepted by him. So I just tell you guys tonight. All of you young people. Draw near to God. Don't just hear it. Don't just listen. Apply it. It's not hard. I'm going to be transparent with you guys tonight. 
understand. I go to school. Yo voy a la escuela, I got homework. Yo tengo tarea, I live in a trailer. Yo vivo en un trailer with nine people. Con nueve personas, it is easy. Y ahí no hay Sometimes I go to the park just to talk to God. A veces no voy al parque solamente para hablar. When my parents leave, you know what I do? Like mis si lo que yo hago? I come home. Yo vengo a la casa. Throw my book back. No me les hablo. Go to the room. Vayan a su cuarto. Father, here I am. Padre, aquí estoy. I don't even know what to say. Yo ni sé lo que decir. But I love you. Pero te amo. And I want to know you. Y yo quiero conocer. Here I am. En mi aquí. That's called surrender. Eso es lo que se llama rendirse. Draw near to God. Acércanse a Dios. And He will. Y él va. Draw near to you. Acercarse a usted. And I tell you one thing, and I gotta go. They literally put it zero minutes, like ten times. Una cosa más, me están haciendo que me falta el número. God loves you. Dios te ama. You guys know that, right? Ustedes saben eso, verdad? He just loves you. Él no solamente te ama. He longs for you. Él anhela. Did you know? Ustedes saben. That God longs for you. More than you long for him. Do you know that God enjoys your presence? More than you enjoy his. And one last thing, I keep saying that. One last thing. The Bible says that God is a jealous God. Do you know what that means? That doesn't mean God is insecure. He's not insecure. He's jealous for you. He wants a relationship with you. He wants to spend time with you. This might sound funny, but God wants to be wanted. He wants you. He longs for you. And he loves you so much. Join him to God. And he will join you to you.